I understand that you're one of SmackDown's top dogs, and I respect that. You see, I just get it. And I'd hope you'd respect ECW. But since that obviously isn't the case, I'm arranging for some respect to be beaten into you by the straight-edge extremist, C.M. Punk. With SummerSlam behind us, the road to no mercy starts here tonight. This is Michael Cole here with John Bradshaw on Layfield at ringside. And tonight it's SmackDown versus ECW. I can't believe ECW has got the guts to come to SmackDown. They won't make that mistake twice. They'll be facing one of our best, that's for sure. And that doesn't even matter. Our worst superstar could beat the best extremist any day of the week. He's coming out here with one purpose in mind, to make the superstars of SmackDown respect ECW. Good luck with that. It's going to take a lot more than one match to change my mind. I hope he didn't bite off more than he could chew when he decided to publicly insult ECW. The extremists certainly have more experience with Extreme Rules matches. Yeah, but this is one of SmackDown's finest. I'm not always his biggest fan, but I know he can get the job done. A lot of people think Rey Mysterio's really exciting to watch, but he just doesn't have the size nor the strength to compete. Man, what a chair shot. Reminds me of my good old days as a hardcore champion. If that's your idea of good old days, I'm glad I wasn't around for them. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. I can honestly say that I don't think I've ever seen a superstar as exciting and dynamic as CM Punk. Oh, he's nothing but a... He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? This superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, one mistake, and we're gonna see that fire put out pronto. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match, and fans are definitely into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fans aren't happy, they'll let you know it. Chair's going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he's using it for, and that's all that matters. Man, I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, partner, but it's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever way it goes, he's got his opponent on the ropes. There he goes. Drop the dive. Six, one, nine. This one's turned into a fight, pure and simple. On the mat, shoulders down. One. This could be it. Two. Three. Oh. 
Rey Mysterio was... Superstars. Well, I can't imagine that SmackDown won't have a response. You're damn right. ECW started this war, and we're going to finish it. I hope this ECW nonsense is behind us and we can get down to business, namely figuring out SmackDown's No Mercy plans. You've always been my go-to guy to deliver big at pay-per-views, and that's exactly what I'm expecting from you this time, player. room is that you and me are going head to head at no mercy you're in for the fight of your life and if you don't believe me just wait for our match this week on smackdown Welcome to SmackDown, where the ECW SmackDown conflict continues. This is Michael Cole here with JBL at ringside, and tonight two of SmackDown's top superstars take on two of ECW's most dangerous superstars. ECW tried to take one of our guys out last week, and tonight we're going to return the favor. There's a lot of pride on the line for both sides. And I hope that tonight is the night SmackDown sends ECW pack in once and for all. After last week's near injury, he's more determined than ever to prove himself against ECW. Yeah, but with no mercy right around the corner, that might not be the smartest idea he's ever had. He's looking to secure himself a spot at no mercy. This could be the match that does it. Absolutely. He's got all of SmackDown behind him. If he embarrasses ECW, he'll have the respect of the entire locker room. He nearly injured one of SmackDown superstars last week. I think he's here to finish the job tonight. He's living in a dream world if you think SmackDown superstars are going to stand by and let him do that. This man is no stranger to raining down violence upon his opponents. Well, I guess tonight we're going to see if he can take it as well as he can dish it. It was only 
a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. And that's what matters. If you're not doing everything you can to win, you're in the wrong business. Rey Mysterio is so fast, so at I don't think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he's using it for, and that's all that matters. Here it is. He's building up a head of steam, and he's about to... Oh, my God! What a chair shot! Yeah, and that doesn't tickle. Believe me. Reminds me of my good old days as a hardcore champion. If that's your idea of good old days, I'm glad I wasn't around for them. Look at this. Pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the pain cut. Looks like he's decided to grab a weapon from under the ring. He's got these fans on their feet. They know what's coming. There it is. A huge six foot nine. Burke used to be a boxer, but there's the cover. One, two. And there's the reversal. Well, that's it. Do it again. I'm glad you're enjoying this. I can't say I am. Oh. You're not kidding, Cole. He's got his opponent on the ropes. There he goes. Drop the dive. Six, one, nine. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious. It's weight. He could get the pin right here. Oh, man. What an impact. You could hear that one up in the cheap seats. is over, but he certainly doesn't seem happy. What do you expect? He put himself at risk fighting someone else's battles. What are you talking about? He was representing SmackDown against ECW. Yeah, and his partner stirred everything up by talking trash about ECW. That's your view of the situation. I call it SmackDown pride, personally. Yeah, well, pride goes before a fall, Michael, and his fall might be right around the corner at no mercy. No Mercy is less than a month away. Michael Cole and John Bradshaw lay fielded ringside, and tonight we've got a huge tag team match. That's right. Four potential championship contenders are going to butt heads here tonight on SmackDown. <laughs> this is their chance to impress the fans and our general manager. And if these guys are serious about making a run at the championship, that's exactly what they have to do.
I'm sure he's relieved to be facing SmackDown superstars tonight and not ECW invaders. Maybe so, but he better not take his opponent lightly. Everyone in this match is looking to prove that they're number one contender material. From Smithfield, North Carolina, weighing in at 215 pounds, Gregory Helms. And the opponent from Blackpool, England, weighing 245 pounds, William Regal. From El Paso, Texas, weighing 200 pounds, Chavo Guerrero. Saw that one coming. Oh. I can't believe the lack of respect these fans have for Shalo Guerrero and his legendary family. I don't think it's the Guerreros they have a problem with. I think it's Chavo himself. I've been looking forward to this match all night. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you got that kind of hop, it's tough to live up the expectation, but these superstars aren't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. Man, I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, partner. But it's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever way it goes, no one can say that these superstars didn't give it everything they got. Ugh. These superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. I don't think you're going to be able to just sit back and enjoy the ride. And what a wild ride it's been so far, with no signs of stopping anytime soon. Each of these competitors is looking for the slight... And there's the pin! One, two, three. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE... Personal for what the hell? It's Bobby Lashley. What the hell's his problem? He's got no business on SmackDown. Look at the power of Lashley. He caught him in midair. Lashley's out of control. Oh man, this is bad. Real bad. Don't do it. Don't do it. Lashley just took out four of SmackDown's top superstars in a matter of seconds.
Listen, somebody's got to deal with this whole Lashley situation before it gets out of control. You're my guy here, player, so find yourself some backup and take care of it. You feel me? No Mercy is just over two weeks away. Michael Cole and JBL on right side and speaking of No Mercy, how about the complete lack of mercy? The ECW champion showed SmackDown last week. Yeah, tough guy. He ambushed four of our superstars after they were exhausted from a match. Still, taking out four SmackDown superstars is no easy feat, exhausted or not. Well, tonight is SmackDown's chance to get some payback. We're hearing now that the partner he chose to take on the ECW champion has had a change of heart and will not be appearing tonight. I can't blame anyone for not wanting to take on the monster, but his cowardice has made this a one-on-one -on -one match, and I don't like those odds. This was supposed to be a handicap match tonight, but instead, we've got a one-on-one -on -one contest. And I hate to say it, but that does not favor the home team. I mean, look at this guy. He is an absolute monster. People think Rey Mysterio is really exciting to watch, but he just doesn't have the size nor the strength to compete at this level. I think you're selling Mysterio short, no pun intended. Mysterio's developed a very unique style that makes the most of his natural speed and agility. Sure, but if it comes down to Mysterio versus a super heavyweight, I know I think he's gonna fly. Look at this, pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with on the mat, shoulders down. This could be it. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, and he's feeding off that energy right now. He saw that one coming. Each of these, he's got his opponent on the ropes. There he goes. Drop the dive, six, one, nine. Bobby Lashley's a legitimate tough guy, no doubt about it. <laughs> 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 champion is a terrifying thing to behold. We'd better get some more security out here and maybe some tranquilizer guns. There's no doubt in my mind that this isn't over. Not by a long shot. The ECW champion has set his sights on obliterate SmackDown. And I have to wonder if there's a superstar in the locker room who can stop it. What kind of talk is that? Suck it up, son. Be a man and have a little faith, would you?
This isn't about you and Gregory Helms. This is about SmackDown and Lashley. He's out for revenge against the whole brand, and we've got to do something about it before it's too late. No Mercy is just over a week away. This is Michael Cole here with JBL at ringside, and tonight two of SmackDown's top contenders go head to head. This is just plain stupid. The ECW champion has declared war on SmackDown, and those two morons can't get on the same page. Well, I don't need to remind you that they're both looking to be named the number one contender. So settle that once that monster has been taken care of then. Their priorities are totally out of whack. He and his opponent are both looking to be named as the number one contender. Tonight, we'll see who deserves that honor. You ask me, it's neither one of them. It is disgraceful the way they're snapping at each other when SmackDown's under attack from ECW. And the opponent from Smithfield, North Carolina, weighing in at 215 pounds, Gregory Helms. Superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, no mistake, and we're gonna see that fire put out. Bravo. I certainly don't envy the. You gotta be careful when you're going up there. Man, this crowd is really swelling. This guy's here's the boom. This could be it. I think these superstars are gonna keep it up until they've got He's building up a head of steam. Look out, here it comes, 619. Man, this one's turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was gonna be intense. We knew it was gonna be intense. This could be three right here. A lot of people think Ray Mysterio Look at this! It's Bobby Lashley! For crying out loud, this guy's got to get over it. Where did those two come from? This is a full-scale ECW aerial assault. and body splash. Now an anaconda vice? We've let a bunch of bingo hall refugees make us look like idiots.
mercy is this Sunday. But first, SmackDown goes head-to-head -head with ECW tonight. Michael Cole here with JBL at ringside. And it doesn't get any bigger than this, Michael. The pride of SmackDown is on the line tonight. Not to mention the health of several superstars who hope to go on to No Mercy this Sunday. Before they worry about going to No Mercy, they better show No Mercy to ECW. I can't believe his partner backed out on him again. This is going to be a three-on-two, no disqualification tag team match advantage, ECW. And I can't believe this guy was enough of a moron to pick him for a partner twice. Fool him twice, shame on him. From Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 275 pounds, Bobby Lashley. The suicidal, homicidal, genocidal, death-defying Sabu. The Sandman! Bobby Lashley is about as impressive a specimen as there is in WWE. Oh, yeah. He looks you gotta be careful when you're going up there. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This on the mat, shoulders down. This could be it. What a reversal. I think these superstars are gonna keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't going to hold anything back, and you can't afford to either. I'd love to know you're coming up with this stuff, because it sure ain't from personal experience. I think William Regal wants to finish this up quick. It's almost tea time after all. Regal's a very methodical wrestler. He won't be rushed, and I don't see him as a tea and crumpets kind of guy. I've been looking forward to this match. He's looking for the knockout. He might have just gotten it. What a shot that was. And here's the cover. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. He's cocking back. Here it comes. Wow! The power of the bridge connects! What a shot! He wasted no time going for that pin. One, two, three. I'd never want to be in the ring with Sabu, but I... Come on, the match is over. All right, I am sick of this. JBL, where are you going? Here. And this, now take those bastards out. This All right, out. now we're seeing a little bit of brand unity. Chase after Tempers are off the charts here, and the crowd is deafening. SmackDown and
and I guess JBL has turned the ECW tie, but can they shut it down once and for all at no mercy? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to No Mercy. And I can't believe the ECW champion is here at a SmackDown pay-per-view. This is SmackDown's chance to send him packing once and for all. And if he can pull it off, he's the new number one contender. It's going to be intense. It's going to be brutal. No Mercy begins now. SmackDown's honor rests squarely on his shoulders. A victory here tonight would establish him as SmackDown's number one contender. And I've never been the guy's biggest fan, but I hope he sends the ECW champion back to Tuesday nights with his tail between his legs. He's showing time and time again that he'll go to any extremes, part of the punt, to humiliate SmackDown. And I, for one, am getting sick of seeing his ugly mug around here. I'd love nothing more than to see him on the receiving end of a SmackDown beating. This I don't think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he's using it for, and that's all that matters. A lot of people think Rey Mysterio is really exciting to watch. Oh, my God, what a chair shot. Yeah, and that doesn't tickle, believe me. this match to end. I'm with you, partner, but it's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever way it goes. He's building up a head of steam. Look out. Here it comes. 619. These fans have certainly rallied around Bobby Lashley, and it's not hard to see why. He's going for the cover. These superstars are at the top of their game, but oh man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love it. He's feeding off that energy right now. Oh my God, what a sickening impact from that sledgehammer. No kidding, that thing's meant to crush stone. Imagine what it'll do to a human being. Watch it, he reversed it. 
He's got these fans on their feet. They know what's coming. There it is. A huge 619. These superstars are so unpredictable. He could get the pin right here. Oh, Look at these superstars go. It's obvious. What a cowardly move. You can't win fair and square, so he tries to screw his opponent out of the victory. Hey, nothing wrong with doing whatever it takes. Oh. What a shot. That sledgehammer will mess you up, but good. And I can't imagine how any... That's not where you want to be when you're fighting this guy. And that's why. 619. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can't. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. There's the pin. Ken is a bullet. Kick it up. Ray Mysterio was so... mind that SmackDown has won this battle. Yeah, but mark my words, the war is far from over. You think you proved something tonight? You think you proved that you're better than me? You're nothing. And this ain't over. I promise.